Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Cecilia. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at, Colin? Oh, it's just this message I received. My friend asked me if I want to go to her house and play tonight. I don't get it. What's so funny about that? Well, I know that's how it might be translated from Chinese, but for us, go out to play or come out to play is only for children. We don't use play in this way as adults. Okay, so it was a simple mistake. That wouldn't usually make you laugh, though. True, true. But the way the text is written, do you want to come to my house and play tonight? This is used for a sexual encounter. Oh yes, so 大家赶紧吸取教训啊！以后约别人一起玩，不要轻易的用这个 play， 很容易引人遐想啊。So how did you answer? Oh, I know that's not what she means. I'm friends with her husband, and she wants to invite a few of his friends over tonight to cheer him up because he hurt his leg in a bicycle accident and can't go out. So I just told her, sure. So will you tell her about her mistake? Oh yeah, of course. But I'll do it in person. She's learning English and likes to practice with me. She's doing quite well. This is the kind of mistake that is common in learning. It's okay. Will you laugh when you tell her? No, no, but she will laugh when I tell her. You know, the word "play" has a lot of different uses, and I do think that it's unusual how we use it in different contexts for the same sentence. When we are a child, and then when we are an adult. Well, let's look at the word "play" today. Okay, so first, I think we should look at common ways the word "play" is used in wrong way. Okay, well, the first is go out to play. This is used for children under ten, maybe twelve. I don't know, but the age that kids go out and. You know, kick a ball, ride bicycles, play hide and seek—that kind of age. Oh, I miss those days. 小的时候的玩啊，真的就是心无旁骛、全情投入的在玩，就是一些简简单单的游戏都能玩得特别的开心。那 play 就适用于这种十岁、十二岁以下的小朋友的玩，可以翻译成玩耍。You miss those days. Yeah, for of years, course, I miss、like、those a, days. Like a few years ago. <laughs> you only think so because you're so old. Everyone seems like a child to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> anyway, when adults go out, maybe they meet for coffee, go shopping, go to a bar, etc. We don't consider that play. But sometimes we go out to play sports. That's true. But here we would say, go out to play basketball, go out to play badminton, go out for a swim. We are more specific about what we are playing. Right, and the key part here is go out. Where for kids, they will say, "Mom, can I go out to play?" A teenager will say, "Mom, I'm going out." 其实想一想啊，在中文里面也是这样的，好像就只有小孩子才会跟爸爸妈妈说啊，我出去玩了。大一点的呢，都会说我出去了。Yeah, and, a, and an adult will say, "I'm going out to the bar." <laughs> I bet you've said that a lot. Well, maybe once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Now, another common mistake with the word "play" is "play the phone" or "play phone." 我们中文都说。玩手机，玩手机，但是英文不能直接说 play phone. Right, this is completely wrong, and a native speaker will not say this. We might say play a phone game, though. Right, you play a game. You use or look at your phone. 你可以说 play a phone game. 玩手机游戏，因为这里面的 play 是搭配 game 的，但是 phone 还是要搭配 use 或者说 look. Exactly, we would say I'm watching a video on our phone, or I'm reading an article on my phone. It's it's the same way with play. So, what does it mean if we say I'm playing with my phone? Oh, well, that that would mean you're doing something like throwing your phone in the air and catching it, or you know, using it like a physical toy. It doesn't mean using the apps on the phone. Oh, so you say this play with your phone. 它其实是表示你像玩具一样的去玩它，比方说把它拿在手里把玩、扔来扔去的这种。那你刷社交软件啊，玩。
玩手机游戏这种就不算了。All right, so what are some phrases that use the word play in them? Well, if you play your cards right, I'll tell you. What? That's the first phrase. Play your cards right. Oh, I see. And that comes from playing cards games like poker. Right. If you play your cards right, you can win money. But we use this for anything you might do, and just sort of general behavior. Cecilia, if you play your cards right at work, you might get a promotion. <laughs> 这个 play your cards right 其实就表示办事处理得当。因为大家想一想，如果你出对牌，你就会怎么怎么样。其实就是说，你把这件事情办得很好，处理得好，就会怎么样。Can I say it about myself or groups of others? Like, if I play my cards right, I will get promoted. Yeah, yeah. And if they play their cards right, they can win the championship. It just means if you do the right things, then you can succeed at something. Nice. I know one. Play it safe. To play it safe, I get up early every day to get to work on time. Play it safe. 其实有很多种翻译方式。你可以说。呃、uh, ，明哲保身，谨慎行事，小心谨慎，或者说稳扎稳打都可以哦。Get up early every day to、uh, get to work on time, <laughs> eh? No, you don't. It's an example sentence. Right. Yeah. Play it safe means to be conservative rather than take risks. The thief escaped by playing it safe and waiting for the police to lose his trail, even though he might have been able to rob more shops in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, that sounds more like you. Now, <laughs> not this getting up early rubbish. Hey. But play it safe can also be said play safe. To play safe, Cecilia waited for the cops to lose her before robbing more shops. I'm not a thief. Okay, okay, okay. But I, I think you're playing with fire, denying your true nature. Play with fire? 我看你才是在玩火啊。Well, the opposite of playing it safe is playing with fire. When you play with fire, you take a very big risk, often risks that are unnecessary. Like robbing banks. <laughs> 那其实跟我们中文语境里面的玩火是差不多的，就是指冒险嘛。我们也会常常说玩火自焚。Okay, drop this, or someone out there will actually believe you. Oh come on, no one believes me. But you need to play it cool if the cops come looking for you. <laughs> okay, you're right. I am. Yeah, no one ever believes you, <laughs> and I always play it cool. 我一直都很冷静，好吗？这个 play it cool， 它是指沉着冷静，不露声色，哈。Yeah, yeah, you do. Play it cool means to behave in a controlled way, not often showing any excitement you might feel. Sure, and even acting like you are not interested in something that actually you are very interested in. So. Do you play it cool with all the boys? None of your business. <laughs> See, you played straight into my hands and lost your cool. Play straight into someone's hands means to do what they wanted without meaning to. 也就是我们说的正中下怀啊。Yeah, this phrase is used a lot when you trick someone. Yes, and it often leaves a negative feeling, even if it actually does no one any harm. Like. I have now towards calling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think that's all the time we have for today. Okay. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So thanks very much for listening. This is Colin. This is Cecilia. See you next time. Bye. Bye.